Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wayne Gaming. It's something you man's Twitter the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus Runes Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. No, okay. Uh there we go. Okay. Huh, these are fancy. Which one should we start with? I'd say let's start with the least oxidized. So Gyokuro first. Rune grabs the teapot, and one smooth motion later, three of our vessels are full. I, cl I grabbed my cup and lifted it to my nose. The aroma is honestly plain weird. I don't even know what to compare it to. Huh? This doesn't smell like tea, more like broccoli. I take a sip, and the taste is definitely not what I expected. It's vegetably and strong, without any hint of bitterness, but very savory. The broccoli comparison seems apt. What is this? This is the strongest green tea I know. It's plenty funky. I think they make it by shading the plants. It's one of the most expensive kinds. Hmm. This is delicious. Glad you think so. It's a bit its a bit too weird for me. I can see myself getting used to it eventually, though. I don't think I'll finish mine. Anyone, anyone want some? Of course. I love this. Not a fan of green tea? If they taste like this, definitely not. And most are easier to like. You might give some Sencha a chance sometime. How about the next one, then? This one is an oolong, Zinjuan. It has a milky aroma and tastes a bit buttery. Hmm, buttery, huh? This should be interesting. I lift my cup with a dose of uncertainty. I lift it to my nose and... The last scent I spent in Knight's room, cuddled up to him, comes to my mind instantly. Hmm, it is interesting, but I don't know if it's good. I like it, it's creamy. You don't feel it? Feel what? S it smells like a person. That scent of clean skin fresh out of the shower, underneath the fur. It's a pleasant scent, but it's really uncanny. Oh, it really does. N not at all, what are you talking about? Huh, you're right. But I take a sip. Honestly, this is very nice. No vegetable notes, just butter and slight sweetness. The taste is rather delicate, but pleasing. But, it's, but still, it's great. Much better than the green one. I like them both. I could really choose. They both brew them really nicely here, so... They're not too burnt nor too weak. It's the worst when a cafe has high quality teas and just butchers them with awful brewing. Okay, so now Darjeeling. Finish your cups and I'll pour you some. I finish the rest in one gulp and it rolls off my tongue nicely, leaving a rich milky aftertaste. Is this like infused with milk or? Oh no, it's not infused with anything. This variety just tastes like that. This is definitely the weirdest tea I've ever tried. Now try this one. It's black tea, but very different from your usual packaged stuff. Hmm, let's see. The smell reminds me of leaves, mostly, which makes sense. Tea is leaves, after all. But the taste is very light and pleasant, very fresh, despite this being a black... Despite this being a black tea. I was... I was afraid it'd be too strong, but it's good. I wish all black tea tastes like this. For a black tea? That's great. If all black teas tasted like this, I'd switch from coffee. You can find good ones for cheap. It doesn't have to be a Darjeeling to be good. I can always send you links to some good ones later if you want. Why not? I can check them out. I don't think my budget can afford another hobby, though. What's the other? Oh, right, photography. Sorry. Yeah, the cost of film and instant photos is killing me, honestly. I was thinking of just switching to all digital, but it but it doesn't scratch the same. But it doesn't scratch the same itch. Just, just like analog, I just like analog photography. I think I get it, though at least with the tea you're spending money on, something, that, something that's actually good for you and makes you feel nice, unlike with alcohol. But yeah, it can't be good for the wallet, but then what hobbies are? You can get into making music in DAW, in a DAW, though I think that's way less fun than doing da doing live stuff live. Or watch films, or sing, you don't need the instruments other than yourself for that. I lean back in my seat, soft cushions like a cloud underneath me. Only now do I notice the music playing. Very quiet and meditative. It's like an L. It is. Of uh, soda time. You know, this is really this really is nice, sitting here and drinking tea, I mean. I see the appeal now. Something about this has an otherworldly quality, as if the time was functioning differently here, detached from the world outside the window. There's one more tea to try, already. <clears throat> Wrong voice. There's one more tea to try, already? As Rune pours the tea, the smell of spices envelops us like a silken scarf. The liquid is milky white in color, but not as opaque as milk. I don't even have to lift a cup to my nose to start salivating, but when I do, I notice also the hint of honey under the smell of tea, cloves, cinnamon, and cardamom. Oh, that looks nice! It seems quite heavy, but maybe it won't be. 
I just hope it's not too sweet. Tasting sip. Oh, that's good. Milky, sweet, spicy, and deep. This is ridiculously delicious. What? Why they don't serve it everywhere? This is so good! Oh my, how is it made? It's tea with spices, honey, and milk. That's it, basically. It's nice. I like it, really. So, which one to pour you next? And then they drank tea. Long into the year. I feel dizzy. Huh? Everything alright? Yeah, just too much tea, I think. I knew tea had caffeine, but I didn't know how much, and apparently it's a lot. Uh, not really. Depend depends on you know depends on person depends on the person. Ah, I don't feel much. Maybe you're not used to drinking caffeine. Yeah, see. But it was worth it. It was a nice experience being there. I already, man, I really chilled out. It was good to have something like like this after a few hours of lectures. Wind ruffles the fur on my head, cool and fresh, blowing from the sea. Looking around, everything seems more colorful and sharp now. Beautiful in the evening sunlight. Yeah, I feel that too. That and caffeine kicking in. Hope I'll be able to sleep today. By the way, what are your plans? I'm asking because I want to visit a local art space, and we'd have to turn, we'd have to turn left here to reach it. I hope to watch sunset from the coast, and it's not that close to the west of the island, so I better start going there now. Sunset sounds lovely, and I wanted to see the coast too. Great, so we can see each other again at the bus. Later then. Have fun. See you later. And we're left alone, standing in the empty va empty alley. Eventide glow on our faces. How nice it feels. The ruffle of the leaves, the evening atmosphere, and the cold air, and the two of us with this gorgeous town to explore. Rune meets my eye. Rune's eyes meet mine for a moment before he looks away, and I remember this morning, how we woke up in the same bed, his arms across my chest. The alarm woke us both, and Rune jumped out of bed looking away. We didn't talk about it, and he acted like and he acted just like his usual self the whole day. But now that we're alone, he seems to be thinking of it, too. But how's he feeling about it? Rune? Yeah? How are you feeling, after the news from yesterday, I mean? Well, not good. I wasn't prepared for that, but it's my fault for not working hard enough. I don't think that's the right takeaway. But it's not the end of the world. I'll see how it goes once the season starts. Maybe it'll- maybe I'll get to play a lot, just not from the start of the game. I nod. There's nothing I could add, really. By the way, um, thank you for yesterday. If I'd have stayed alone, I just, I just kept thinking about it. If I'd have stayed alone, I'd just have kept thinking about it all night. I was happy to be there. If you need to do that again, just tell me. I chuckle, but I can't be sure if he'll understand that as a joke or as an actual offer. I'm not sure which one it is myself. Thanks. So, this way. We should be there in 15 minutes. If I were to open a place like that, I'd like to have it like to be outside the city center, somewhere more quiet and less commercial, off the beaten path. If you want to make a community, it makes much more sense to target local people than tourists. Second like L, it is water time. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay. Right, and the rent would for sure be lower. I imagine the prices in the center had to be outrageous. I don't really know. I didn't do that much research, but that's probably true. And after the closing hours, I could invite friends or f friends over for some private events. That's the coolest part, I think. Yeah, quite, quite. Yeah, a private bar. I really hope he starts his own place. Oh, it's God's beautiful. We leave the town and walk through a barrier of greenery. When we turn right. The, the, the wide coast opens before us. The smell of the sea and the smell of sea and the gentle breeze under wa uh, breeze water undulating and the towering mountains behind them, stretching in both directions like edges of a crater, all hit me at once. Oh. The sunset sky, stained orange and pink, reflected in the sea, distorted into splotches of color on the peaks and valleys of waves. My paw reaches into the bag for the camera by itself, and I snap a picture of just what's ahead of me, no regards to composition paid. White. Only then do I take a look around. The town is just behind the, the, town is just behind the trees, but... Here, on the dirt path, we're surrounded by nature. A handful of people stroll along the coast, most dressed in black, looking at the horizon in silence. Uh, left or right? If we go left, we'll make it back to the town eventually. So we turn and go left, both quiet. The nature around us demanding full attention. Living by the coast is absolutely the best. Don't you live by the coast, Anne Anslow? I remember you mentioning that. 
close to it, but the coast in Anzlo is all concrete, plus some trees and pots. I like to, I like this place more. It's so quiet. The town already was, the town already was, but now it feels like we've left all the sounds behind, and only our paws scrape against the dirt underneath. See why? It would be nice to live in Anz, still live in Anzlo, but somewhere further from the center, somewhere where nature is all around, untamed, not contained in the pots and lawns. A house somewhere in the southwestern part with a nice big kitchen and the living room with windows facing south, so I'd have all, so I'd have sun all day. I can show you which place I was thinking of. I think there's a metro nearby. That's definitely the most convenient option. Rune grabs his phone and opens the map, looking around. Not a flat? They're convenient, and living in the center has so many perks. I'm torn. Both are appealing, for different reasons. I likely stay in a flat. It's less hassle, and I like having everything close by and walking distance. Yeah, same. Though, Ansel had such great public transport that you could get anywhere easily anyway. I guess. Oh, isn't that Lake? It's indeed, ahead of us is Lake and Jorgen, walking in our direction. Lake is carrying a linen bag and seems to be very excited about something, a wide grin adorning his face. Hey! He waves with his other paw, jogging towards us. Hello there! Hey, I got something for you. Oh, I got it. Look here. Rune shows me his phone, finger pointing at a neighborhood at the very coast. At the same time, Lake takes out a paper box from his bag and, sho and shoves it towards Rune, his paw colliding with Rune's and sending the, f the phone flying. Like in a comedy, the phone flies in a low arc, all three of us looking at it in a daze, and it lands in the sea with a single heavy splash. Rune stares at the sea blankly, his arm still out stressed and paw open. A fin! Then he runs towards the water, hooves scraping at the gravel and sand. He fishes the phone out of the water and shakes it, sending droplets everywhere, returning to the shore with his trousers soaked. Uh, is it working? I don't know, it's all wet. He wipes it on his jeans before clicking the side button, and then a few times more. No. Oh fuck, Rune, I'm so sorry, I had no idea how this happened. It happens, no worry. He doesn't look at us, though. His voice is completely flat, just as his tail glued to his leg. Hey, maybe you could put it in rice and it would absorb the moisture. Do you have rice, maybe? No. It wasn't waterproof? I thought most phones are now. No, I got something budget-friendly. I don't need an expensive phone, and I, if I'd break it, I wouldn't regret it as much. So I guess that came in handy now, at least. I just wanted to give you a cardamom bun. I, I bought a bunch at the bakery. Thanks. Maybe it's still repairable. Maybe. I'd like to try, at least. Second y'all, it is water time. I can't even take out the battery. Now they're just built in and not replaceable. Hey, what did I just miss? Nothing imp Nothing important. Let's continue. We should be back at the parking lot soon. Huh? Is everything alright? Yes, let's go. And we continue along the shore in silence, now heavy with words unspoken. Rune tries to look cheerful, but his tail betrays his mood, and Lake looks down at his paws the whole time. Both me and Jorgen stay quiet, sensing that Rune doesn't need any dis doesn't need distractions, but rather some time to process his loss. Maybe the phone had a sentimental value to him or something. I'd like to help him, but I don't know how. So I walk along, here for him, here for him if he needs to talk. All right, it looks like that is it for now. All right, y'all. Looks like we got done with this path early. We got a few more one, few more ones to get through. So, yeah. So anyway, y'all, it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.